Ninth straight home win by 10 or more. Again, they were down by 19, won by 20. They did that also in November of 2017. It's the last two times that they did that. Here is Steph Curry. You hate to have a first quarter like that where nothing uh, is going to go in your way, but we have a confidence in our identity. And like I said, you can try to outscore people and think that it's just going to be a barrage of threes that are going to get you back in the game. That's all fun and great to watch, but defensively is where you really kind of demoralize the other team. Like 96 points is crazy. To, you know, with I think they had 30 something in the first quarter, so that's that's how you do it. And you know that your brother, Seth, has never outscored you in a game. He almost had you until you hit that final three. You knew what you were doing, huh? He mentioned that after the game, and I told him he missed an opportunity to tell his teammates that. They left me wide open on the last one. So here's the most ridiculous stat of night. So Steph made six threes another day at the office. He's right. averaging 5.4 threes a game. You know why I mentioned that 3D? Why is that? That would be a new career high if he does that all season for who would most say the greatest shooter of all time? Uh, hey, I, I don't, I, hey, you know me as I a shooter. I am not, sir. Hey, as a shooter, and I got my name 3D for a reason, uh, he gets my vote because he does it every night. He does it with either hand. And tonight, he gave you a taste of being a point guard. I can give the ball up. I trust my teammates. Hey, Bible, where you going? You're doing a 360? Take that with you on the, on the floor. <laughs> so as you're watching Steph Curry now healthy, confidence. I'm a point guard. I can push it. My team left hands alive. I got people running the floor with me, Chris. I trust my teammates. They trust me. Now defensively, when you miscommunicate, once again, two people on me, I mean somebody's open, wide open shot, shoot the ball with confidence. This is Steph Curry taking his leadership to another level. Once again, Chris, am I the great shooter? Wait a minute, Chris, I can dance too. Stanky leg, stanky leg, kick it, kick it, kick it, stanky leg, yes. Take that with you, people. In case you don't understand, I'm Steph Curry. Step, step, kick, step, 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 step. Man, kick somebody it, call 911. 3D get having it, a seizure. Get him. I got a new hip that feels good. Steph Curry's going crazy. Are you kidding me? You got him in ah, the Hall of boy, Fame. I'm yeah. so glad tomorrow we have a day off because you need, you need a, a nap. So, uh, Sam, we, we were watching the Warriors tonight and you were like, man, dominant. So here's the question for you as far as what this team can be. Mm. You know, they're leading the league in assists, nine straight home wins by 10 or more. Steph Curry doing record-breaking things again. Mm. But mm. can they be as dominant as that 73-win team? I think so. Not when it comes to win total 73. But you watch how they play. They move the ball. They're one of the best defensive teams. And then one through nine, they're as deep as anyone. Oh, and guess what? Pretty soon, quick, fast, and hurry. Clay Thompson and James Wiseman are going to join this team. And now Jordan Poole and guys like that are going to move back to the bench, and their bench is going to be stronger. And when you look at how Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, ticket, ticket. Gary Page Jr., <laughs> the third, how all these guys are playing right now, everyone stars in a row. And in the past, the year they won the 7-3 game, mm -hmm. Kim Durant was the dominant player on that right. team. Right. But they didn't have the depth. As soon as someone got hurt, you could see that. This team right here, this is Steph Curry team. He put his mark on this team last year. This started last year mm -hmm. with how he played. This team right now potentially can be better than the 73-win team with Kevin Durant.